A garden gauge or circular foil gauge is a heat flux sensor primarily intended for the measurement of high intensity radiation. It is a sensor that is designed to measure the radiation flux density in watts per meter squared from a field of view of 180 degrees. The most common application of garden gauges is in exposure testing of sample materials for their resistance to fire and flames. Topic: <inaudible> Explanation. While heat flux sensors can be made according to various designs, the sensor of a garden gauge consists of a foil connected to the sensor body at its external radius, and connected to a thin wire at the center, named after its originator Robert Garden. The foil center and side are the hot and cold joint of a thermocouple respectively. When radiation hits the sensor this generates a signal. It is typically water-cooled and does not require any power to operate. A so-called schmidt boelter gauge has the same outward appearance as a garden gauge, but employs different sensor technology. The schmidt boelter has a plated constantin wire wrapped around an insulating chip. Both are heat flux sensors. The only difference is practical, garden gauges can be manufactured in such a way that they withstand extremely high flux levels. The range for schmidt boelter technology is more limited. On the other hand the schmidt boelter technology can reach higher sensitivities at a lower response time. Please note, images on this page are of a schmidt boelter gauge. While of similar appearance externally, the internal construction is not that of a garden gauge. Construction of both is detailed in the explanation. A high-intensity radiation spectrum extends approximately from 300 to 2,800 nanometers. Garden gauges usually cover that spectrum with a spectral sensitivity that is as flat as possible. For a flux density or irradiance measurement it is required by definition that the response to beam radiation varies with the cosine of the angle of incidence, i.e. full response at when the radiation hits the sensor perpendicularly normal to the surface, zero degrees angle of incidence, zero response when the radiation is at the horizon 90 degrees angle of incidence, 90 degrees zenith angle, and 0.5 at 60 degrees angle of incidence. It follows from the definition that a garden gauge should have a so-called directional response or cosine response that is close to the ideal cosine characteristic. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design of garden gauges. In order to attain the proper directional and spectral characteristics, a garden gauge's main components are a thermocouple sensor with a black coating. This sensor absorbs all radiation, has a flat spectrum covering the 300 to 50,000 nanometer range, and has a near perfect cosine response. The black coating on the thermopile sensor absorbs the radiation that is converted to heat. The heat flows through the sensor to the sensor housing and from the housing to the cooling water. The thermopile sensor generates a voltage output signal that is proportional to the heat flux. Topic: Usage. Garden gauges are frequently used in fire testing, typically installed vertically and next to the sample under testing. Garden or Schmidt Boelter gauges are unprotected heat flux sensors, and that they are highly sensitive to local convection. In general, users should make sure that radiation is dominant, which is generally the case above 50 kW per square meter. Convection is not carrying away too much of the flux, this may happen at high air speeds or in case the sensor temperature and air temperature are very different, so air temperatures above 500 degrees Celsius. Topic. Standardization Garden gauges are standardized according to the ASTM standard. Calibration is typically done relative to NIST. 